Hi folks, let's talk about online presence. I have spare minute while I am waiting for work tasks and that boy here is sleeping. So we have spare minute to talk about online presence and I would like to talk today with you about online presence for developers, why I believe that's important and that is not only for developers, basically for everyone, but I believe that there are more introvert developers who are not putting themselves out than uh, so named regular people. <laughs> so let's discuss that. Believe me, I know how hard it is to put yourself online. I just, I'm just well adapted introvert as well, uh, like most of you guys. Quarantine, for example, was business as usual for me with benefits to stay at home on weekends as well. If you will say a few years ago that I will talk to camera in foreign language for me and especially in public places, I would not believe you. But let's clarify what is online presence. This could sound a little bit extreme, but I believe that in this age, if your work is not online, it doesn't exist. No one gives a shit about your CV or resume letter. Everyone wants to see what you can do, what you already did, on what projects you are working and so on. To get better understanding what online presence is, I highly recommend to read the book Crush It by Gary Vaynerchuk. Audiobook is the best way to consume it because Gary Vaynerchuk read it on his own and adding quite a bit extra information while reading this book. I was listening on Audible, not sponsored video, <laughs> unfortunately. Another great book is Show Your Work. Uh, you can read it in a day or few, that's very short and full with great ideas and suggestions. So, why do you need so named online presence? I can name plenty of reasons, but I will stop with only three to save your time. So, I believe those are most important. First one is online networking. Uh, sure, that's great if you have local developer or entrepreneur groups to meet like-minded people, but even if you have those, uh, why to lock your down in physical place? Online you can communicate with people around the globe. In other case, if you are living in the middle of nowhere, like I do, and there are no user groups at all, or user groups are very small, just few people, for example, in online group in Latvia, that is, uh, online networking is a great option to meet like-minded people around the globe. And sharing your work is a great uh, way to find like-minded people. I really enjoy, for example, communication with all of you on YouTube here and on Instagram as well. Next one in my list is for all of us who are looking to get a job as developers. That is great option to get yourself in front of employees who are looking for hire. In my opinion, it is great if your next employer will already know about your work from your social networks. That is your chance to make a very good first impression and stand out from all of the submitted CVs for position. Especially if you are a junior developer, that's very important to stand uh, out from other applicants to the same position. Later, down the road, when you will have work experience, online presence do not matter so much, but do not hurt at all also. When you are getting jobs or looking for freelance projects, that's very important who you know and who knows you. The same is applicable for freelance and online business. I see quite a lot of incoming freelance projects and job offers from Instagram, where I am most active. Talking about online job platforms, if customer after receiving proposal from me will decide to check my name in Google to see what can be found, uh, the first page will, with results will be uh, I and iOS development related results. So I believe that's good. So, and <laughs> be sure that your search results are not uh, party pictures from Facebook first impression can be done only once. Also, following on social networks is good to get attention uh, to your apps or any other businesses or projects. Sure, that is a bit more tricky. For example, I have free diving training application. If I would like to advertise 
more my free diving training up i should create content about and around free diving instead of programming so i believe those are very good points why to do that just to be present in uh, online community and be searchable and quite often i am asked how to get jobs how to get freelance projects and so on and uh, when you search for this uh, question quite often you see answer networking networking is very important what you know who you know is very important when you search for jobs when you search for projects online presence is one and uh, in my opinion a really good way to build this online networking okay shortly about platforms of choice how <laughs> how to do this online networking there are different ways how to share your work podcasts conference talks written word whatever most oblivious are social networks again check the gary vaynerchuk book to dig in detailed suggestions from him youtube channel that is kind of extreme because it takes a lot of time and effort to produce youtube videos but uh, if you like to start youtube channel don't worry too much about cameras and other stuff mobile phone that is all that you needed hit that record button and start recording videos it's kind of hard of beginning but it becomes easier <laughs> later believe me there are different uh, opinions about instagram because uh, of sharing nice or expensive setups and uh, fake struggle and uh, hustle posts but that's up to you what to use i like to use instagram because i'm trying to keep my desk clean anyways and uh, I really enjoy photo and video, so why do not share images from uh, my work environment and document my work uh, and development journey in Instagram captions. I like that. If photos and visual media is not yours, choose something else. By the way, follow me on Instagram if you are not yet. Shameless plug. Do not forget that you are on social networks to share your work, otherwise you can find yourself uh, learning TikTok dances and scrolling mindlessly TikTok trends. Side note on TikTok, that is the uh, fastest growing platform currently, even if it is strange a bit for <laughs> most of us, uh, it's still worth attention. Check what's happening here. But probably Twitter still is the most popular platform between developers. There are plenty of interesting developers to follow who are not presented on any other platforms. For sure, I'm on Twitter as well, but I'm getting lost in it and like more visual social networks like Instagram and YouTube. Sure, you can still write blog posts on your own site and I highly recommend to do that because you own the platform and all your content will stay on your own platform. But sharing on social networks is must have nowadays. So if you are looking for a job, uh, freelance projects or like-minded people to start a business together, people who you know is very important and online networking is a great way to make those connections. So hopefully I convinced you that it is necessary and important to be presented online. If you are starting YouTube channel right now, comment below to find each other. I know that is really hard to share your work, especially if you are working on their, on their NDAs and you can share your employee or client's code or you are just learning new skills and feel that know nothing, but you still can find some pieces of work what you could share. I am far away from perfect as well and would like to get better on that and build my work sharing in my day-to-day -day routine. When I will clarify for myself how to do that more efficient, I will try to build that down to some simple to use framework and will share that with you as well. So you will be first one who will know that. So subscribe, <laughs> if you are not subscribed yet to do not miss that video when that will come out. I hope to do that, yeah. And if you like this video, there are like buttons, hit that as well. You have unlimited uh, amount of likes, by the way, that's your super power on this platform to let YouTube know that this uh, video was worth watching. So thank you for watching. See you on next one. Bye.